Hello, everybody. Welcome to this session. I am Emmanuel Murichinga, instructor in the Geotechnical Lab at IPRC Chigari. Now we are going to perform the test of Los Angeles abrasion value of aggregate. This test have objective of to carry out the test, uh, the hardness property of aggregate. The purpose of this test is to find the percentage we are due to the relative rubbing action between aggregate and steel balls used as abrasive charges. Now we are going to see the apparatus required. Here we have balance for measuring. We have also the sieves. We have the abrasive chains, those steel balls. We have the Los Angeles machine. This machine, it very pass to determine the Los Angeles abrasion value. Now we are going to see the procedures. Gradation of the aggregate should be carried out so as to access the grade of the aggregate from A to G. Then we we'll take the sample of aggregate we will receive according to the class chosen. We have class A, class B, C, D, E, F, and G. We we'll choose the sieves according to the grading size of our sample. Now, we are going to perform the test by class B, which we requ the requirement are the sieve of 20, 12.5, and 10. For that class of B, we have to take the sieve of 20, 12, Ten and the pan. After choosing the, the sieves, we are going to sieve our sample. This sample is passing through twenty, and we take the two kg and five hundred. Then we sieve again from twelve point five up to ten. We take also in 10, 2 kg, 0. 0.500 grams. Then this sample, we are going to put them in this machine, Los Angeles abrasion. This class of B we are going to perform, it requires to use the 11 steel balls. As I told you first, the number of steel balls depends by the class chosen. For example, A, it requires another number of steel balls. But for B, we are going to use 11 steel balls. Those are 2 kg and 500 grams from sieve of 20 and retained on sieve of 12.5. These also have been sieving from 12.5 sieve and retained at 10. After putting in our Los Angeles abrasion machine, we mix with three balls, 11. One, two, 
d four five six seven eight nine ten eleven then we are going to fix our machine When you choose class C H, you have to use the sieve of 40, 25, 20, and 12.5 sieve, and 10 also. Here you take from class A, you take the 1 kg, 250 grams, from 40 sieve, passing and return on 25. And you take also 1 kg, 250 grams from 25 sieve and return it on 20 sieve. You take also the sample from sieve of 20 and return it on 12.5. You take again 1 kg, 250 grams from 12.5 and return it on sieve of 10. Sorry. When you choose class B, as I told you, we have used sieve of 20, 12.5 and 10. We have taken 2 kg and 500 from sieve of 20 passing in 20 and return it on 12.5 sieve. Then we take also 2 kg and 500 through 12.5 sieve and return it on 10. When you choose class C, you have to use the sieve of 10, 60.3 and 4.75. Here we have to take 2 kg and 500 from 10 and return it of 6, 6.3. You take also sample from 6.3 and return it on 4.75. When you choose to do the class D. You have to take the sieve of 4.75 and sieve of 2.36. Where we take the sample of aggregate and sieving through 4.75, then we take 5 kg retained on 2.36. When you choose to do the class E, Class E, E, F, and G are somehow different to the class A, B, and A, B, C, and D. Because here we have to take sieve of 80 and sieve of 63, sieve of 50 and 40. We have to take 2.5 kg from 80 sieve and you take the sample retained on 63. And you take also the sample passing through 63 and retained on sieve of 50. There we take also 2.5 kg. You take also 5 kg from sieve of 50 
passing through that sieve and turn it on 40. When you choose also to take a class F, class F, we have to use sieve of 50, 40, and 25. Here, we have to take 5 kg from 50 and return it on 4th sieve. There we take 5 kg. Then you take also the sample from 40 and return it on sieve of 25. There also you take 5 kg. The total mass as initial from for E, F and G are 10 kg. Even when you choose to do class G, you take also the sieve 40 and 25 sieve and 20 sieve. Where we take sample sieving through 40 and return it on 25 sieve. There we take 5 kg. And also you take sample sieving through 20 sieve and return it on 12.5 sieve. There we take also 5 kg. The total mass is 10 kg. For our test, we have chosen the class B, where we have take 5 kg as initial mass. Even number of spheres, those spheres we have put there, it's depend by the class I've chosen. From A, you, we use 12. From B, we use 11. From C, we use 8. From D, we use 6. From E, we use 12. E, F, and G, we have to use 12. Even the rotation also for this machine. A, B, C, D, we use the 500 rotation or revolution of this machine. But for E, F, and G, we use also 1,000 revolution or rotation. Now we are going to continue by class B. Remember that our class, it, uh, it depends by the gradation of our sample.